Hi YouTube, I just wanted to give you an update of my experiences with the Steadicam Curve. Um, as you see from some of my videos, um, what you need to do is have a look at the rest of my videos, you will find some test footage that I've done with the Steadicam Curve. It's, it's easy to use, it's very light, it fits in your pocket pretty well. Um, the, there is a couple of things that I've found a bit tricky and it's probably the way that I'm using it rather than the way it's designed. Um, what I have found is when I'm using this and there's a sh if you're holding it, you know, like they say, it should be held like this and there's probably other ways of holding it. Okay, you get a lot of sway from left to right. I guess if you see some of my videos, um, and I'll put the links to them down below so you can have a quick look at them. Um, there is a bit of pitching from right to left to right. Um, I think the wing gets hold of the camera sometimes, so that's understandable. It's not really a fault of the steady cam itself, more the way that I use it. So I've, came, I've come up with putting my, if you can see that, put my three fingers underneath, and then I just very lightly pinch the top of the steady cam. There's a little bit of rubber around the top of there. So if you put your fingers, your finger and your thumb either side of that, it does seem to balance it a lot better. Um, it gives you a bit of an opportunity to hold that a little bit still. I only very lightly touch it, there's no need to grip it, otherwise that doesn't help the movement in the camera at all. So I've been trying to do that, I've taken some more footage, it seems to be working better, which is great. Um, and like I said, it's more about the way that I use it and my skills with this rather than this not working properly. I guess they get a lot of issues with things that are actually, you know, the, with bigger ones of these, that the weight's underneath, there's going to be some movement when the wind gets hold of it. And it's been windy and raining a lot, so that's what's been happening with that. The other thing that I do find difficult is when you click that into place, okay, you get this. It's not a tight fit. So, when you're using it and, you, and you're just holding it and you're filming, you get a clicking noise in the playback um, of the video, which is this bit. So it's a shame that that's not a stiffer fit, so when it's in you can have, hold it as a, as a solid cam. Um, so what I've done now, and how I've been using it, is getting a bit of a grip on it. So if I wanted to use um, a this in the fixed position. I've just been putting my hand right round it like that, so a bit like a trigger of a gun, and holding it. And then I don't get any noise from that. Doesn't matter how hard I shake it, it's clear, but if I do this, it's loose. So that's one tip, just make sure you put your hands right over and you put your fingers like this, and then you can just hold it solidly all the time to do your panning if you needed to. Um, saves that clicking noise when you get to it. But apart from that, had no problems with it. Works fine, apart from obviously the way I'm using it. And really, it's a good bit of kit. I would recommend it, but don't be disheartened by just using it first of all and then finding, oh, it's doing this and it's doing that. It really is the way that you and I use this product. Um, Steady Cam Curve works well, it's just me. <laughs> okay. So thanks for watching. I'll put a couple of links below to the videos with the steady cam. Um, please subscribe and if you've got any questions at all, feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.